help me improve for its healthy nutrients. It prevents cancer, lowers blood pressure, great for hemoglobin and lots of other benefits. For this recipe, I have already peeled and grated the beetroots. Let's cook it. Take a non-stick pan and add ghee or clarified butter. Next, add the grated beetroot. Stir it and roast at medium heat. Saute it for good 15 minutes so that the beetroot is well cooked. The beetroot has shrink and lost its moisture. Now I'm going to add a cup of milk. Mix it nicely. Let's cover it with the lid and cook for another 5 to 6 minutes at medium heat. You can see the color of beetroot has changed slightly. Now I'm going to add kohua or mama. If you don't get kohua, then you can replace it with milk powder. Grated kohua or mama. This is totally optional, but it makes the halwa rich and tasty. Mix well until the mama blends with the beetroot. Time to add the sweetener. I'm adding chopped jaggery or good. You can also add sugar if you want. Mix it. After adding gold, you can see the halwa has become a bit watery. Keep stirring and cook until the mixture becomes dry and non-stick. Let's check. Moisture will dry out as it cools. Let's add flavoring agent, cardamom or elaichi powder, pistachios, almonds, and one tablespoon of ghee. Stir it. And our halwa is ready. I'm going to switch off the stir and allow it to cool for some time. So hot or cold, as for your liking and enjoy this healthy Indian dessert. For the plating, I'll fill this bowl with halwa and then invert it onto the plate. Put some tiny cranberry sauce and garnish with some fruits. This looks so adorable. No one can say a no to this halwa. This is a very healthy sugar-free halwa that is a complete treat for your eyes and taste buds.